Hey, hi friends. Good morning. Welcome back. Sri Krishna Soft Skills. Okay. Uh, easy Power Bay by Navin. So, okay. So, in the last class, uh, I think we have discussed some of the uh, interview questions. Okay. And uh, uh, I have leave you one uh, 25th question. Okay. So, one of the subscribe asked me to please do the, the that question also. But in this video, I will cover two scenario based questions. Okay. But uh, the what uh, we have leave that question. So what are the challenges you face? So then we will see the next video. So because of these also one of the uh, challenges also you will take consider the one of the challenges. So this type of uh, query then uh, my manager uh, will give me. Then that time then I have faced this up issue. So then finally I got a result. So then this is also one of the scenario based also and uh, challenge also you will take and you will uh, tell to interview. So this is. Uh, challenges i faced okay yeah let's get started before going to the video just please like it share it and subscribe if you are watching first time and then you do bell icon for never miss the updated videos okay so every day i will do the videos then for uh, new uh, like uh, new videos and then new the same subject then the uh, uh, updated so if there any update things or if there any scenario based questions or if there any interview questions okay although then we will uh, provide you okay so please don't forget to subscribe and do bell icon. Yeah, thanks. Let's get started. Yeah, so this is our channel, uh, Sri Krishna Soft Skills. Okay, this is today uh, agenda is to scenario based question. Okay, so how we will do the this question? Yeah, I will share my screen quickly. Uh, yeah, what is the question is uh, actually uh, the clients given the one data. Okay, the data is uh, like uh, this way. I will show you the data. So within a couple of minutes. Okay, yeah. So actually, uh, client given the, this is the employee name and skill. Okay, employee name is the Navi, 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 three times Navi and Rajesh, Rajesh, Rajesh. Okay, skill is Power BI. Navin having the Power BI and Navin having the SQL and Navin having the Azure. And Rajesh having MSBI and Rajesh having SQL and Rajesh having Azure. So this is the uh, question. So the clients given the, this data, but client wants to client to expect the data is like this. Okay, employee name and skill. And employee name is Navin, only instead of three Navins, it will come Navin. And instead of three columns, it will come in single row by uh, comma separated. The same thing in uh, Rajesh will come in single column and then these three rows uh, instead of single row MSBI comma SQL comma Azure. So how can he achieve this? So most of the interviews then I have faced uh, uh, interview then I got this question and I asked many of the interviewers. Okay, when I asked, when I participated in the interview, then I asked most of the uh, interviews uh, uh, could not able to give the answer. There is no answer for this. So that's why I'm explaining you how to achieve this. If you have any another way, for example, uh, before you will try, before watching this video, this you will take as a scenario, then you will try to get this result. If you get this result, then you let me in the comment. So this is the way to be achieve this. If you don't find any answer, then you will watch this video and you will get it. You will try. Okay. Yeah. Let's get go to the Power BI. Yeah. Go to the transform column. Already, actually, I loaded the data. So, okay. Before then, I will uh, uh, again, I will load you. Okay. Yeah. This is the. Then I will delete the data. Actually, two questions I will explain you. So one question is this one. Another question is uh, like from the uh, DAX functions. Okay. Yeah. Then let's get data and then go to the Excel sheet and then we copy and paste same. Okay. This is the employee data. So you will treat as a employee data. Okay. Table name is EMP. Okay. Then edit data. So we are uh, this uh, in power query editor. So we will do the power query editor. Okay. This is the 
like a question okay then how you will achieve so then we have the lot of the transformations transpose is there pivot unpivot okay like group by and uh, splitting something and then we adding okay we managing okay in the transform column like is the format option prefix suffix and then we delimit delimiter but i have tried many ways so we have go for the uh, like uh, pivot and unpivot but then i found this another way how to do it so then what i found is to first then this is the scenario na? first go to the group by okay yeah whenever you go by you select the which column you will do so this is the when we go when, when we click on the basic already this is the basic is a default okay then the which column you want to do employee name so first you select the employee name already is default so then the new column which one you want to so my table okay my table okay then the next column will add in the my table okay then operation is all rows so then we will add the all rows so click on the button okay it will give the my table so in the navin in the table is the giving the same navin having power bi sql azure okay yes and then when coming to the rajesh rajesh having the ms bi sql azure so this is the one step second step is go to the add column and go to the custom column so observe so go to the add column go to the custom column here we have a lot of functions is there so here so table column okay table column is a one of the operation one of the function is there then you select that one and from that you will select the which table you want now my table so created table then you insert that one and comma and double columns and uh, then you select the which one you want to add this one so skill column so skill column and then we will close the bracket and then we will enter the okay button then again it will create the another custom column okay so this is you will prepare second step so from the second step then you select this one okay here and then you go for the extract value so extract how you want you comma separated you want so otherwise if the custom then if you like uh, at the rate also you want to then either uh, percentage also you want either and symbol whatever you want but customer asked me only the comma separated then you select the comma separated and then you will get the result so then when you remove this column and then this is the way so what the customer asked what the client asked so this is the employee name skill navin rajesh and power bi sql azure and rajesh is msbi sql azure okay so you got it power bi comma sql comma azure msbi comma sql comma azure okay you got it the result in power bi yes yeah please give me the thumb symbol okay thank you so actually i found this way if you have any another way you go to the unpivot and go to the some other grouping by some other if there any other way then you will find then you please me the comment give me the comment so this is the way also then we will achieve okay thank you friends and second is for example we have a uh, like uh, uh, scenario we different uh, types of employees work in a company so like contract basic and permanent basic and some client based okay like you will take a some cognizant so okay in the cognizant they are permanent employees okay they are uh, 20 members okay and uh, contract or uh, some there is no employees employee Okay, these are the employees working in the like so um, few of the people are working on uh, permanent role and few of the people are working in co contract based few of the people's and client so they per day salary is something like uh, 200 rupees per employee and 1000 rupees and 900 rupees like that but you want to calculate the client wants to calculate the so per month how much amount we will pay for the employee either if you want to for example if you for example these are the 10 employees only the hundreds of employees we have okay then the same table they inserted hundreds of thousands of lakhs of employees so permanent employees something contract employees someone client employees someone so per day each salary they be entered they given the data so then you want to give the salaries so how you will achieve this one in single power bi dax we will function we use and then we will get it the one single column then we will add one column and then we will get the who permanent employees how many and the contract employees how many and then client employees how many and then per day so then we will calculate the employee into per day salary then he will give the month salary whatever the salary which we will give you so they wants to give the salary per day so they will calculate if you want to sit and then calculate it will take time so then you will give you some function and then you will achieve this one so how to achieve this one then we will see okay if there are any comments if there are any doubts so then if you want to some other thing then please 
share me in the comment then we will try to make it another video okay yeah this is the second uh, scenario then you go to the enter data yeah yeah table name is uh, colis okay then we will select the colis c o a l e s c e the colis table okay then go to the edit so directly look, go to the power query editor so this is the so this is the already whole number this is the whole number this is the whole number okay there is no data the already this is the clean data there is need not to clean anything so direct close and apply go to the file option and close and apply it come the power bi desktop so once we receive the data in power bi desktop go to the data tab is the data tab okay then you see the data so this is the way permanent employees this is the contract employee this is the client employees okay and this is the per day salary actually this is achieved by the colis uh, function in the power bi dax so when we discuss on the power bi dax then we use it to use the colis okay by using this we will achieve so once you do not watch this uh, dax function videos please i am strongly recommend to watch the uh, dax function video then you will get the uh, correct picture so exact picture of the colis so how it will work okay then just i am here explaining only the uh, how to achieve this uh, uh, data okay then go to the new column okay then so you what do you want first the colis hard what we what it will do colis so the first non blank column will write here for example the permanent uh, employee one is permanent so for example is the 20 then it will write the 20 the second column uh like uh, the contract there is no permanent here is blank value second uh, non blank value is the contract okay coming to the employee three so first permanent is non blank value contract is non blank value so client is a 10 so there is a 10 will write so it will write the all the what non blank values then it will calculate the per day salary then you will get the uh, per month salary okay like that okay c o l so c o a l e s c sorry e s c e colis okay so colis syntax co colis yeah select this one and then you want to write the permanent employees okay permanent employees comma so contract contract comma so client okay then you will it will create the one column okay this is the colis column it will create the like uh, this way yeah colis so the what is the employee one is the 20 and the employee two like 15 so it is non blank value it will return okay here so then again you will write a another function otherwise then you will uh, write here uh, uh, multiply into the per day salary but you will confuse then we will create one more column okay then go for the new column and then so month salary salary so is equal to so then the same thing and multiply with the per day per day salary yeah this is the per day salary okay then you will get the what is the month salary so this is the so for this employee then we will give you the 24000 this employee to we will give the 15000 and then then how many employees you have 1 lakhs employees or one uh, uh, like 2 lakhs of employees whatever then, then you will get the single uh, function then you will get the these are results so okay friends thank you you understand so this is the high level of this one two questions so like this then the same scenario then you will explain the interviews yeah yeah i have faced the uh, client given this data then that time then we use to like uh, this function okay then we might not get uh, like this uh, um, this way then we have achieved then we have gone through some uh, googling something then we, we we achieved this one these are the one of the uh like um challenges so do you let him so then we will discuss in further videos then i will uh make it uh more uh, uh like uh, uh scenario based and then uh, challenges because of whenever each each interview will ask the what are the challenges you faced at least you will uh, uh what is the most uh recently faced biggest challenges so then one by one then you we will learn then easily then you will explain so then uh, according to uh, 
uh, interview, then we will explain. So then they, what they will concentrate, for example, DAX. So then that time, then you will explain this way. Otherwise, then uh, power query, then the, the actually whenever we loading the data, so we have some faces issue. So then that time, then we avoid then we, we, we issues and then we will let it. Okay. Thank you, friends.